Welcome to Solar Reviews Labs. I'm your host, Ben Zentera. Let's talk about OPS. Before we get started, full disclosure, OPS sent these products to us free for testing. And you can help support our channel if you buy something from them via the links in the description below. You can enter the discount code Solar Reviews for an additional 5% off at checkout. That said, our opinions are based only on our own testing and use of these products, and we maintain 100% editorial independence. OPS is a newer Chinese company on the market. They make affordable solar generators. Today in the studio, we've got the OPS 600, which holds 595 watt hours and costs $309. This guy is the OPS 1200, which holds 992 watt hours and goes for $549. This one over here is the OPS 2400. It holds 2,232 watt hours and costs $1,199 on their website right now. And finally, right in front of me, we got the OPS 100 watt solar panel. It goes for $239. There is also an OPS 240 watt solar panel, but it's too big to fit on this table. Now, let's take a look at these two smaller ones by themselves. So the reason that we have these two on the table together is because they're basically like a small brother and a big brother. We've got 595 watt hours in this. It can do an output of 600 watts continuous and it can surge up to 1000 watts. This tiny guy has two AC ports and only one of them can take a three prong adapter, one DC cigarette lighter port, two DC 5521 barrel jacks, two USB-A, and those do the quick charge three at 18 watts and one USB-C. It's power delivery at 100 watts and it can actually charge this thing too. You can also charge from a DC jack on the side of the unit and that's where the solar panel connects. This 100 watt solar panel has a DC 7909 cord that plugs right into the barrel jack. Now, as for this bigger brother, it does 1200 watts of continuous power and it surges up to 3600 watts, which is pretty high. It has 992 watt hours of storage, which means it's not quite double the little guy. It's got three AC ports and a pure sine wave inverter. It's got two 5521 barrel jacks and a DC cigarette lighter jack. It also has two USB-C power delivery ports at 60 watts each, but these ones do not charge the unit. And it's also got two USB-A quick charge three 18 watt ports. Now this one can also charge from DC and it comes with a 200 watt AC adapter so it can charge at a rate of about 200 watts. Whereas this little guy comes with just a 100 watt AC adapter and charges at 100 watts. What I like about these two units is the design. The hard plastic on top, but a soft silicone frame. And I like this kind of swirly hoop. This little one right here is great if you're a weekender and you just need to charge a couple of devices on a camping trip. I personally need a little bit larger uh, storage capacity than this one could hold. So this is my favorite one right here. It also has the soft silicone rim. It's got the beautiful design, but it holds that 992 watt hours and it comes in at a great price at 539. Now they both charge again with this 100 watt solar panel. So you can put this out at your campsite, charge during the day, and at night you'll have enough to charge all your devices. OPS says that the little one weighs 14 pounds, which is actually really light for its capacity. And this one weighs 31 pounds, but they're both easy to carry with the provided handles. And there's a surprise on the back. Each one comes with this light, which is very helpful if you're at a campsite at night. We've got low, high, and SOS, just in case you need saving. This one takes a full charge in about eight hours from the 100 watt AC adapter. And this one can charge in about five to six hours from the AC adapter. And they both can charge from this 100 watt solar panel, but it takes a good deal of time, maybe eight or nine hours to charge this. And for this one, it would take about 12 hours to charge it with a 100 watt solar panel. You might be looking at about two days of charging. So that's it for these two little guys from OPS. Now let's look at the OPS 2400. It holds 2,232 watt hours of energy. It's five AC outputs via a pure sine wave inverter. At 45.6 pounds, this thing is large and in charge, but it's still not that heavy. I can't believe I'm holding two kilowatt hours right now. As we discussed, it can put out 2400 watts through five AC plugs in the front. It's also got a DC cigarette lighter and two 5521 barrel parts that can together put out 12 volts at 10 amps. Now the OPS 2400 comes with two giant AC power bricks that each do 200 watts and can charge this thing at a rate of 400 watts. That might take still about 10 hours to charge it to full. So if you need a lot of power on it right away, you can go with the two Anderson input ports. They can accept 500 watts each. Now OPS sells its 240 watt solar panels and you can do two in series and plug two strings into each of the Anderson ports, getting a total of 960 watts of charging. And that can charge this thing in about three and a half hours. Now 2400 watts AC is a lot of power. So this is the guy you're gonna want if you're living in an RV and you wanna charge it every day with solar and do everyday things like making coffee, using a microwave, blow drying your hair. And speaking of, I've got a blow dryer right here. I use it every day. Gotta, gotta have this diffuser to make my hair look good. So let's plug it in here. It's already set to max. I'm gonna turn on the AC outlets. I let it go. Now we're drawing around 1200 watts at this point. So that isn't enough to overload this thing. So maybe you wanna dry your hair at the same time you're running your space heater. 
Got this 1500 watt space heater here. We'll plug that in too. Now we got max space heater, max hair dryer running. And we're at 1700 watts. 1800 watts. So even these two things together can't overload this thing. Now you can see the display now, so it's down to about 50 hours of power. So if you ran these things for two days straight, you might run out of power in this guy. All right, enough of this noisy stuff. Let's get rid of these things and talk about pros and cons. The Opes 2400 can put out a lot of power and it can hold a lot of power. At this price, 1199 for 2232 watt hours, that's an incredible deal. What I like about this thing is it's got a pure sine wave inverter. It's got all that power. It doesn't weigh very much. Charged from solar pretty quickly. Now the cons of the 2400 is that it comes with those two giant AC power bricks. I know they're trying to save money, but come on, Opes, give us one 500 watt power brick. Second, it doesn't offer some of the bells and whistles of a brand like Blue Eddy, where you get wireless phone charging and app control of their larger power generators like this. And finally, the Opes only comes with a two year warranty, which is falling behind the industry standard of a five year warranty. Now, with their lithium iron phosphate batteries, they do say they can still do 3,500 cycles before they reach a capacity of 80%. That's great, but put your money where your mouth is and prove that they'll last for at least five years. But given the price and what you get, this thing is still an incredible value and I'd take it any day. Now that's a wrap on the Opes product line. These are all great batteries at great prices, but if I'm choosing one, it's gonna be the 1200. Comes in at a great price, has a great amount of storage and just the right features for several days out in the world. Now, the solar panel's coming with it, and it's gonna keep it charged up so I can have fun in the sun. You find yourself a sunny spot, like and subscribe, and we'll make more. Thanks for watching.